Angels paid a hefty posting fee to land Otani's rights. They seem to be okay with this diagnosis here. How serious is this elbow condition for him? Well, I, it, it probably isn't very serious. I mean, it's a grade one sprain, so you know it's obviously uh, uh, not the most major. It goes grade one, two, three. Um, apparently, according to the league, uh, none of the 30 teams uh, were scared off by uh, by, by that. Uh, he received a, a PRP injection, platelet-rich plasma, which is uh, uh, commonly used uh, to try to heal the UCL uh, before uh, undergoing surgery here. Uh, we've seen it work in other cases. You know, the, what comes to mind actually is Masahiro Tanaka, who uh, near the end of his rookie season in 2014 with the Yankees was found to have a small tear in his uh, uh, UCL. Uh, he did not undergo surgery, had uh, platelet-rich plasma treatment, uh, and uh, that has held. Um, you know, we don't know the, the actual severity of it other than, you know, some some bounding assumptions based on the fact that it's a grade one strain. Um, you know, it, like any pitcher, he'd be a risk for Tommy John surgery, maybe a little bit more than, than others uh, because we know he's got at least this. But uh, I guarantee if you looked around the league and took MRIs of every starting pitcher's elbow, you'd find a lot of these. Angels making some news this morning, Jay, as well. Reportedly, the team is uh, interested in signing Ian Kinsler. Uh, how serious is the team's interest in Kinsler? And how, how strong of a sign is this that the Angels are, are serious about getting more competitive than what we saw in 2017? Well, I haven't seen anything to really indicate the, the depth of their interest in Kinsler other than they need a second baseman. They were... They were uh, uh, they had the worst second base situation in the league last year. They signed Danny Espinosa. It didn't work out. Uh, cumulatively, their second baseman were three wins below replacement level. Uh, just about anybody they could get for that spot uh, would be an improvement. And, you know, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, Kinsler would obviously be a trade. Uh, he's a guy who's uh, one year away from, his, fr uh, from the end of his contract here, uh, 36 years old, coming off a down season, but still basically a league average one. Uh, they could also do other things. They could uh, uh, sign Neil Walker, who's another free agent, uh, uh, the former Mets and Pirates second baseman. Starlin Castro, who was just dealt from the Yankees to the Marlins, probably isn't going to play for the Marlins. He's just another guy who needs to be flipped. Um, so they have options out there. But uh, uh, Kinsler makes a certain amount of sense for them as a short-term solution, um, You know, especially if they can get the Tigers to eat some money uh, you know, from, that, from that contract.